Are you wondering why you can't get her attention? Tired of dating your mother? Have you ever wondered why you're always cheating? How come girls always call you their friend? How do you get her to say yes? Introducing Secret to Birthday, the Love and Lust Report. You send us your date of birth, we cut together a special video all around you. You'll see the patterns in your love life right away. So if you're interested in knowing all the little sexy secrets about you, come on down to secretsofbirthdays.com. Hello, Leo. Welcome now to Thursday, and thank you for logging in. Sunny and money hungry today for the royalty of the zodiac. We got a lot of fire going on, and maybe not in a good way. The moon has moved into Virgo, shifting emotional focus to soul capital for the next couple of days. So you'll be emotionally sensitive about your self esteem, your self confidence, your productivity, and of course, abundance, which is the spiritual buzzword for money. That said, the moon crosses Mars today, which will flare everything up. Mars is aggressive, masculine, ego-based energy. It's right now only in chapter one of Virgo. So we're now we're dealing with it on a very primitive level. So emotionally facing all of your aggro issues around self-confidence. You could flare up, you could find yourself incredibly impatient, you could find yourself oversensitive about other people's opinions. Basically your emotions and ego and self-confidence are all mixed as one. The point though is to get the real soul capital online by July 22nd and Mars is lighting a fire under your ass to do it. And today emotions are part of that game. So today pay attention to your emotions and see where they are. You should be, and I think in the most healthy state, ready, passionate, and willing to bring your soul capital up to what it needs to be. To be self-confident, to become productive, and to draw in what you're worth. That's the positive way of looking at this. But you could follow the dark side of the moon. Kind of depends, and that's a good indicator of the work you have to do. But also, the sun, today ruled by Saturn in chapter 3 of Sun in Gemini, saying it's time to come to some major decisions today about who you are in society and where you stand. So, one could lead to the other. Basically, due to the sun uh, squaring Saturn right now in Virgo, you may have one trip up the other and vice versa. The point is to work out kinks between your place in society and self-confidence. So maybe you feel very confident and you're impatient with your place in society. And that, may, that says to you, that's it, I've decided I'm running for Congress because I've got the self-confidence. Or it could be vice versa. Could be that you go, hey, I want to run for Congress but I don't know if I feel good enough about myself. Okay, so now you need to build the self-confidence up to meet the decision in society. But there is a decision of who you want to be in society and it is tied to your self-confidence, self-esteem, and money and it's probably tied through fears and also conflicts as well. And it's Thursday, we have Leo Sadiqa Salter going live today with her question and answer episode of the, Arom the Renegade Aromatherapist. Say that five times. Don't miss Sadiqa, if you posted a question, she may very well have answered. And tomorrow I am back with your weekend forecast and we're gonna talk about the continuation of maturing with the moon crossing Saturn. Those details in 24, live love be. So